Welcome to a pre-harvest tour of a forest management project in Miles Standish State Forest. My name is Paul Gregory and I am the management forester for the Southeast District for the Department of Conservation and Recreation. I'll be discussing a forest management project to remove Norway spruce in order to restore pine barrens habitat. The project area is west of Bear Hill Road and south of Three Corner Pond Road. After a wildfire in 1957, this area of the state forest was planted with red pine, white pine, and Norway spruce. The main objective of this project is to complete an ecological restoration of open pitch pine and scrub oak communities, which are often referred to as pine barrens. Pine barrens are globally rare, fire-dependent, shrub-dominated communities with scattered trees and occasional openings occurring typically on dry, poor, sandy soils. These pine barrens provide habitat for many of our state's rare species. Miles Standish State Forest is designated as a reserve, but management is allowed under certain conditions. One of those is to implement natural heritage recommendations to restore, maintain, or enhance habitat for rare and endangered species and exemplary natural or rare communities. By restoring the pitch pine scrub oak communities, we will be providing additional habitat for many rare species. The pine barrens provide habitat for a diversity of state-listed animals and plants, including over a dozen moth and butterflies and tiger beetles. This project was reviewed by the DCR Office of Cultural Resources. Historical charcoal sites have been identified within the project area. Charcoal sites will be marked to exclude equipment. Trees along the edges of charcoal sites will be removed and are marked with a red stripe. Trees within the interior of charcoal sites will not be cut and are double flagged to mark their exclusion from cutting. These charcoal sites most likely date back to the 1800s when an iron industry was present in the area. There are two Norway spruce stands and isolated pockets of Norway spruce totaling approximately 61 acres. The density of Norway spruce is highly variable across the plantations. Some areas have a high density of Norway spruce with little else growing, whereas other areas have scattered Norway spruce among pitch pine and highly scattered white pine and white oak. There will be minimum impact to recreation as no trails are abutting or within the proposed project area. There is a small section of the paved bike path within the project area. This section of the bike path will be closed during harvesting activity. The primary goal is to establish native pitch pine and scrub oak regeneration in areas lacking such species and to release these native species under current Norway spruce. A secondary goal is to increase the structural and native species diversity of the forest. Achieving these goals will provide habitat and food for rare and common wildlife species. The method to remove the Norway spruce and white pine will be whole tree harvesting and chipping with all chips removed from the site to allow for future use of mowing, mulching, and prescribed fire in maintaining the pine barrens habitat. The canopy will be thinned in some areas to complete overstory removal in other areas depending on the density of the Norway spruce and white pine. The overstory removal of the white pine and non-native spruce will convert the forest composition to that of native pine barren species. The removal of the plantation trees will release the native overstory pitch pine and oak species and the understory scrub oaks, huckleberry and blueberry. The project will have two landings on Three Corner Pond Road with an option for a third landing on Musquash Road. The boundary is marked by three diagonal stripes in blue paint. The overall objective is to restore these stands to native open woodlands or shrublands characterized by pitch pine, tree oaks, scrub oak, and associated native shrubs. Portions of the Norway spruce plantations have pitch pine scattered within the canopy and scrub oak and native shrubland species underneath. Removing the Norway spruce will result in an open shrubland habitat in some areas and an open pitch pine woodland in other areas. 
Both will provide a benefit to the variety of rare declining and common species. White pine interspersed within the plantations will be removed as well, as this is not a pine barren species.